All right, in this video, I'm going to talk about the Pythagorean Theorem. Uh, so the Pythagorean Theorem involves a, what's called a right triangle. Right Now, a right triangle is a triangle that has a 90-degree angle in it. So this, this little square down here in the corner, that signifies that this angle right here is a right angle and that it is 90 degrees. Right, so any triangle that has a 90 degree angle as one of the three angles in it, uh, then that triangle is called a right triangle. All right, so the Pythagorean theorem gives us a relationship between the sides um, of a right triangle. All right, so bef we, before we get to that, we need to talk about the names of these things. So the side, the side that's opposite the right angle, so it'll be this long side right here, and it's going to be the longest side. Right? The side opposite the right angle is called the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. Right? Now these other two sides over here that make up the right angle, that make up the 90 degrees, they are called legs. Right? So this is one leg, and this is another leg, and this is the hypotenuse. So those are the formal names for the three sides of a right triangle. Now the Pythagorean theorem states that if we take um, you know, one leg and square it, and then take the other leg and square it, and then add those two things up, that they will be equal to the hypotenuse squared. So it looks like this. I separate it out as saying leg squared plus the other leg squared. So we have to know that legs make up the right angle, right? So leg squared plus other leg squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. And that's the little form there. All right, and there are all kinds of proofs for the Pythagorean Theorem. So just do a little Google search for proof of Pythagorean Theorem if you're interested, and you'll see all kinds of different approaches to proving that the Pythagorean Theorem is indeed true. All right, so here we're just going to talk about how to use it. All right, so remember, it's leg squared plus other leg squared is equal to hypotenuse squared. And I use this terminology because um, your, your triangles aren't always going to look like this. Right, they could look in any different orientation whatsoever, um, but you have to have a 90 degree angle, and we have to know that the, that the two sides that make up that 90 degree angle, they are called legs, and the side opposite the 90 degree angle is called the hypotenuse, and that's just important information to know in general. All right, so we're going to use that information. All right, so let's do an example. All right, so here we've got a right triangle, because uh, we've got the 90 degrees there, right? Uh, and we've got uh, this length is 5 units, this length is 8 units, and the hypotenuse is x units. And we're trying to figure out um, the length of the hypotenuse. All right, so using the Pythagorean theorem, we have leg squared, so it would be 5 squared, plus the other leg squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. All right, and then it's just uh, um, an algebra problem to solve for x. So we have 25 plus 64 equals x squared. So then that goes 25 plus 64, that's 89. So 89 equals x squared. And if x squared is equal to 89, then x has to equal the square root of 89. Um, if x squared equals 89, then x equals the square root of 89. Intuitively, that, that kind of makes sense. The formalities of all that will come uh, at a later lesson. All right? So right now, we just see that all right, x is the square root of 89. And you could take that down to a decimal and get um, 9.43398, and it goes on forever. All right? So this is actually an approximation. Right, so x is approximately 9.43398. So this length is a little more than 9, just under 9.5. Right? So that is how we can use the Pythagorean theorem to help us find lengths of right triangles. All right, so that's just a basic example to show you how to use the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, the thing to remember is the relationship between the three sides of the right triangle. Leg squared plus other leg squared is equal to hypotenuse squared. So then any time that you have a right triangle, then you can have this relationship between those three sides um, and, uh, and be able to solve for whatever it is that you're trying to solve. So that was just a basic example to get this idea across down here uh, to, um, uh, so you can apply that to, uh, to future problems. All right, that's it. Study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.